Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to try the famous Cloud Pour. Uh, Millie D came up with this, so please check out her channel. I'll put a link down in the description. Make sure you subscribe to her as well. But today we're using the Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels, and that's what creates this effect. This is pure white. I'm also going to be using uh, the Antique Bronze Metallics, also by Deco Art, and then the Extreme Sheen Aquamarine, also by Deco Art. And then I'll be using white and blue by um, just the Artist Law Flow Acrylics. So I have my satin enamel marked with an S here so I know which one it is because I also have the Artist Loft White. And we're gonna do this as a tree ring. So I'm gonna start with that satin enamel. I've mixed all of these with Floetrol and water. And you can find uh, my mixture down in the description here. We're just going to layer these colors. This is pretty much my favorite color scheme. Not using any black though, because I'm kind of going for the light cloudy effect. All right, this one is the Artist Loft White. And then trying to not overdo it on the bronze. So just a little bit. Some metallics can definitely take over. All right, we're using a lot of white in this. Okay. Just gonna fill this cup pretty much all the way up. So bear with me guys. All right, and then some more of that satin enamel. And that should be good. Okay, I'm going to get everything out of the way and then we will do our pour. So far, so good. Awesome. So I already see some of these cells developing over here. We'll go ahead and we'll very slowly tilt. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit here for quite a while um, because I wanna see what develops. And um, for this video specifically, I am gonna show you the dried one at the end. But for now, let's let this sit. We'll come back and we'll see what has popped up. Hopefully we get more of that cloudy effect in there. So we'll be back. Okay, so this is about an hour later. 
Um, not too much has changed. I was kind of hoping for some crazy cells like these ones. Um, still gorgeous though. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll let it dry and we'll see how it looks when it dries. I've seen on Melly's uh, that the colors tend to pop out even more as it dries, but we'll go ahead and we'll see. So we will be back. All right, we're back. This is how it looks all dry. Um, not really more of the cloudiness popped up. I still love it. I love the how light it is and it's like soft and whatnot. Um, and I do really like the contrast of these lines here. Didn't super get the cloud effect though. So I'm gonna have to practice with this a little bit more. Uh, this is my first try with using this enamel. I still think it's awesome. Let's go ahead and we'll do a quick close-up. All right, starting in the lower right-hand corner. And by the way, this hasn't been sealed or anything, guys. It's just, just the dry version. This is the upper right-hand corner. This is the upper left-hand corner. I really do like this part. And then going down to the lower left-hand corner. There you go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any tips for me on doing the cloud pour, I welcome them. Leave them in the comments, and I will be giving this one another go soon. All right, see you guys later.